everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Maher from Newfoundland and Labrador, East Coast of Canada. And today I have the privilege to interview Rob Kim from West Coast from Vancouver. Hi Rob, how are you doing? Doing well, how are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you for being here. So we are from the other side of the country and we are doing this interview. So Rob is an educator and Gallup certified strength coach and LinkedIn Top Voice 2022. Learning is his superpower and growing up education helped him learn about the world and develop confidence in himself. Through university, education provided him with the skills and experience to learn about people. Now as a career educator at UBC, education helped him to provide accessibility opportunities for people to gain confidence in themselves despite being uncertain about careers. So Rob, my first question here for you is, as a LinkedIn voice of 2022, what are some of the things that job seekers need to use on LinkedIn and why I feel that sometimes they don't utilize it and when they are looking for a job, they go for LinkedIn and we know that it should start before. So what tips do you have? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, maybe let's just start a little bit easier. I think the number one tip would be um, just taking care of your the basic elements of your profile. I think the majority of people, I know I speak for myself when I first started working on LinkedIn, I mean, like uh, like do, using LinkedIn, yeah. we're all, a lot of us were really hesitant about what our profile looks like, like kind of almost like, uh, I don't think it's ready for me uh, to then present to other people. So I think it's really like start with the basics, your headshot, your LinkedIn banner, if you want to do that, and your headline, uh, yeah. and then take care of your about section and your experiences. And so, I mean, that's that's tough. So that's, yeah. I think, the first tip. Uh, but I don't know if that's the level that you want there. That's just kind of the beginner tip. But again, uh, let's, have it, let's assume that a student has that basic. What right. can you do next? Yeah, the next one is where I think there's plenty of tools. Uh, so again, if I was in higher education or at a university uh one of my favorite tools is to use the you know go to the your university page and most most of the major universities have them and then on the desktop version you click on the alumni tab mm -hmm. that tab uh you can start using a boolean search for you know so many different things so i i i think about the big tip is linkedin is great to research to understand what people are looking for, what jobs are out there, um, and and those sort of skills. And I think that's, uh, and then you can start thinking about, okay, what do I have? And how am I writing or translating the things that are matching maybe some of the industries? But, it, you know, a lot of times early on in your careers, it's like, you know, you don't, you don't know what's out there, right? You think about, you get exposed to your the jobs from your circle friends and your network. It's a little bit different now with social media, of course, but I still think um, it, it surprised me, but doesn't surprise me of, again, when you talk to people, like still how uh, unaware they are of the different yeah. types of jobs that are out there. So I, I love that alumni search uh, because that's all passive research, which yeah. then would go to my next tip of LinkedIn is like the harder one is just reaching out to people. So again, yeah using those weak ties, weak connections to start, you know, doing informational interviews, yeah. uh, following people, learning from them, engaging th with their posts, that sort of thing. So I think kind of like easy, basic middles now, hey, we're using a little bit more of the tools like, you know, there's also the LinkedIn resume finder. There's a lot yeah. of tools on LinkedIn. Yes. And then finally, the actual like, hey, let's connect with these people, whether yeah. it's over Zoom, online, messaging etc cetera, etc cetera. my clients and even the students i'm uh, helping is that identify maybe 10 to 20 companies that you want to work follow them on their social platforms engage with their content share and build relationship yeah yeah i mean again easier said than done and what's yeah. tricky about this is like you're going to hear some stories of people say, like you know i got a job this way but you know it doesn't mean it's going to work. So, and, th yeah. and that's why really I always position it more of like, hey, utilize this social media tool 
Mm -hmm. ways that you already like engaging and learning about the world, right? So there's someone out there, like they might not want to connect. And I don't want them to go away thinking like, oh, I'm not doing that. Something's Mm -hmm. wrong with me. It's more like, again, think about how you like to learn and, and then also challenge yourself to do something differently. I mean, honestly, the number one thing would, but would be the hardest, right? Is yeah. actually posting and and making yeah. original content, and yes. um, that's a whole other yeah, uh, a whole thing, other. Right? yeah, yeah. yeah. And again, thank you for those great tips, uh, Rob. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Rob a couple of questions, and I'm going to post them on a daily basis, kind of a journey with us. You can like all the videos, share, put comments. So tune in next time for another great question with you.